Constellation Star Station LO868. Welcome aboard. The 6th of September 2023 is going to see the release of the much anticipated Starfield and I genuinely can't wait for it. While we were all hoping that it was still going to be in the first half of 2023, I think the longer that Bethesda remained silent, the more it became plausible that it was going to be the second half of 2023. And at least on the 11th of June, we are going to get the Starfield Direct, so we get a really big look at the game. I'm looking forward to that as well, very much. For now, all we have is the new announcement video from Bethesda that gave us some new gameplay footage and some new images to look at, so yeah. My name's Hawkins, welcome to my channel, let's jump straight into the analysis. Firstly, and a quick one to get out of the way, is just how absolutely gorgeous this game is looking. I mean, it's breathtaking. I've taken multiple screenshots, here's a selection of a few of them, because it just keeps boggling my mind at the level of detail. I mean, I've messed around with Blender and tried to make my own, you know, space scenes and make my own planets, and I'm still in the early stages, and this sort of stuff that I can see here is just awe-inspiring and makes me want to do even more 3D animation. It's just absolutely stunning. I love it. It's gorgeous. We get a glimpse of what the docking animation looks like when docking with the Constellation Star Stations, which was quite nice. I'm not surprised that there's no manual docking with the stations, a bit like with there being no manual landing on planets or taking off. We get a nice look from inside the space station towards the dome that we can see out of and we get a good view of how it can look from the inside and the outside. I have to say it looks crisp, looks lovely in there and that there are going to be multiple stations I'm guessing because these two look like they are definitely orbiting around different planets. We've got a more revealing look at what the artifacts are, I think heavily inspired by films like Interstellar. I really do think that the main storyline is going to be something to do with wormhole travel to allow us to explore further. I think that this game is essentially going to be the Mass Effect moment for humanity where they discover the technology that helps propel them out there into the galaxy and possibly into a first contact situation. But that's my theory anyway. The second half of the announcement trailer was pretty much Todd himself talking about the game, telling us that they were playing it, and lead producer Tim Lam in the background playing the game. We can see the TV in the background showing off the game, and I don't have the technology to be able to zoom in on that very well. As you can see here, it doesn't look great, it's kind of blurry, but we can make out a few key details from what we can see on the screen. Much like every other Bethesda game, it's very easy to switch between first person and third person, and I know that was a question that a few people were wondering about. We also get to see the weapon select wheel, which is identical to the Fallout one, which obviously it works, so they're going to continue using that. The character animations look smooth and clean, which is quite enjoyable to watch played, and we get to see a little bit of combat. And if we zoom in on the screen here, we can actually see it says that it is fighting over the Mars Mech Factory, which... You know, we knew Mars was a place that we could go to, and we already knew that Cydonia was a city we could go to on Mars, so yeah, like, it's fleshing it out a little bit, which I quite like. We get a glimpse at the current home screen, which honestly, I absolutely love it. It's simple and just beautiful, so yeah, I'm hoping they keep that one. We get a couple of extra shots of people working on the game, and we get to see a bit more footage of what it looks like in-game. I'm wondering if this one, is that a jump pack? It doesn't look like a jump pack, but... We can see that there is clearly a huge amount of ammo being held for this kind of handgun and what almost sort of looks like wind turbine structures so I'm wondering if this is them walking around their base when it's been built, quite possibly. Next up we have this shot which is an absolutely stunning visual of the game. It reminded me very much of Mass Effect Andromeda when it was first announced and I love the fact that it's showing the weapon holstered on the back which kind of answers the question of whether we're going to have our characters show they are carrying weapons. We got this lovely visual of them running around on the planet, which, like, I think it very much looks like No Man's Sky visually in this moment here, but I, I don't think the game's gonna be anything like No Man's Sky, but I can draw the parallels between it. I've seen it mentioned a few times already. 
We get a brief look at the inventory system and from what we've seen here, I absolutely love this. It looks clean, efficient, tidy. I love that we can actually look at what our gear looks like before we equip it. There's a little hide helmet and breathable areas button at the bottom. I mean, it's great. It's looking fantastic. We get a lovely close-up look at a new enemy in the game, the Hunting Maggot Maw. I mean, it just looks disgusting. Something straight out of Dark Souls by the looks of it. But yeah, the main thing I take away from this bit here is that it's level 75, which shows that there are going to be a lot of levels in this game, so I'm curious to see what the level cap will be. Okay, and there we go. What do you guys think the game's going to be about? Um, yeah. I mean, it was a very nice announcement trailer. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed the game's coming out in September, but at the same time, I'm happy they're taking this time to actually make the game good. I don't want to have a, a buggy, horrible filled mess when it comes out. And I'm, you know, going to wait until June when the Starfield Direct comes out and then have an even deeper dive into the game. I really hope that they don't spoil too much of the main storyline though. I have my own theories about the main storyline. The announcement trailer here has kind of confirmed for me a little my own personal theory, but I could still be entirely wrong. I still think the game is going to be about first contact and we're discovering these artifacts and there's some sort of gravitational anomaly or wormhole travel that allows us to go even further out into the stars. That's just my theory at this point in time based on what I've seen. I could be right, I could be wrong. Maybe Bethesda will let me know. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Hopefully, though, Bethesda will actually maybe release a little bit more information between now and the Starfield Direct, but to be honest, I expect another three months of silence. I don't even see them doing a Constellation Questions, although it would be nice if they did, and if they do anything extra, I will be here to report on it, because I'm really looking forward to Starfield, and everything I've seen just makes me look forward to Starfield even more, so yeah. But anyway, that's going to be it for me today. If you got to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe, as it does help me decide what I want to do content-wise. But for now, that is going to be all for me today. Until the next video, take care.